That's the channel and another one of our playthroughs and this one we're going to look at Notley's Landing by Trail Ducker and let's go with pin four for and yeah black tees so he's built this on and let's go medium I don't want too high and maybe let's go northeast um yeah so he's built this on I believe Pithy's plot it's the first one we've got coming off that one so that one was the one with the ravines um Usual disclaimer, um, it's 6 a.m. here, but there's a couple of courses and I've got a little time before work. And we have children up, so you may get, well get interrupted by real life Rory, rather than just blurt for Rory. Okay, and let's have a quick fly around the plot. So first tea view, looks lovely, good mix of grasses and uh, low lighting. And we have big old clubhouse, we have a football field, we have some tennis courts interesting bunker stuff now we'll talk about the bunkers and kind of what he's done there because uh, there are some playability potential issues which is a choice but um and then we've got that and we've got loads of houses around there i feel like the houses are going to cost an awful lot of meter um and she used a lot of the plot so that might impact planting um i did see dan play this last night so this is the first one where i'm maybe not going in totally blind um, and then we've got the creek, or the ravines. I think I prefer this where it's got the heavy rough around it, um, rather than the very green look. Okay, so we kind of weave our way around the creek. The fairway gets pretty tight to them. We go up and we go down. Like These ravines were really cool because there's so many ways in which you can use them. I've done a routing on this plot and really enjoyed it. Um, it's probably the most fun, if, although it's sneaky challenging, um, but it was probably the most fun one to root for me because there was so much you could do with it. Um, okay, we have, we go all the way down. I like that he's used kind of greens at the bottom as well. I thought that was something I wanted to kind of lean into as well, um, as well as on top. So good variety. The other one with Dan's was short walks from Green's Tea. We looked at that last time. Um, so it's kind of 50 yards with three of a hundred. Um, and then you could buy and sell some land, which I think he's done. Um, clubhouse. I don't, I don't know. It feels very modern for this sort of a course. Um, but we should see. Right. Leading back to the first tee. So we see those bunkers. Oh, thanks Rory. He's very kind. Okay, so we can play out this way away from the trouble, or we can play really pinched left to a fairway that also kind of falls off. I feel like this is being defended so much. I'm definitely going this way. Because I can get away with any sort of shot this side and hit driver, whereas if I'm hitting the other side, I can't hit driver and I'm not really losing anything for angle. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Uh, do, 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 let's go to here. Might be a little left. It is a little left. And we go way down. We do at least stay on the fairway, so that's good. And now we have a chip all the way up. which that's much easier than it would have been in real life. Okay, and you can see, yeah, I feel like, I don't know. I know that Dan said he wanted some houses or neighborhood on the plot. I don't, didn't, I don't know the brief well enough to know whether he said he wants it on all four sides. I feel like I'd be treeing that side in as much as possible if I could. Anyway, start, I like starting with a par five, so a like gentle opener. Second of all, I like that we're down in that ravine area. So it's quite nice to hit up and out of. So I think Shore Acres, which this plot is kind of based on, does that well. I far prefer this green to the first one. It's just... I mean, it's got a kind of funky shape, but it makes a bit more, a bit more sense. There's more to define it. Okay, let's head up to this side. 
And I appreciate the restraint of no kind of fairway hazards, and it's just fine, the fairway. Oh, we're dead level. Nice. I think this must have been in the area of land we bought. So Dan's was also about you could buy and sell different bits of land and kind of extend the plot a touch. Come on, turn in, turn in. There we go. Two for two. Okay, first par three. And down into the ravine. I think... The main thing that's kind of throwing me off visually is the textures. I think the planting would look great with some less green, like this deep green texture. I think it's probably to do with the bunker choice, with like these green grasses, which do look great. I, I but the oh yeah, the note on the bunkers they do look great, but these have like a hitbox of like a tree rather than a grass, so therefore the ball might just ricochet off them and fly in different angles, which is. I think a decision that Ducker was aware of, which, yeah, interesting call. I think I'd always go playability over looks. If it plays badly, leave it off. Um, but tough pin. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the green complex in terms of the idea. I think it could be done a little neater. It, just the shape itself feels a bit ragged and... Yeah, but I like the idea, and it's got some character. Oh, three for three. This is the opposite to the Axel stream, where I couldn't get anything going. Okay, so now playing around this one to Sunken Green. I do like the green down here. I think that's an interesting place for one. Again, I think sculpting can be a bit neater there. There's an interesting hole. Uh, so either I hit three wood down into this portion and we lower and hit from lower, or we just hit way up here and we lengthen it, or we can hit... Yeah, I like this hop. So I think we'll try and take the low road, because that appears more fun. I might have smoothed out some of that sculpting a little. It feels like it was very flat on top and very rumpled here, which... I mean, I guess that's how the land was, but I still feel you would have smoothed it. If you were building that in real life, and then it just means I feel like I've gotten a like I've taken on the more most challenging tee shot. I feel like to end up here, and yet I've kind of gotten the least reward because I've just got that random lie. And now I feel stymied. Yeah. That's okay. Just. That feels like a bogey. I shouldn't. I, yeah, it's hard to say you didn't deserve it, but I don't feel like I hit a really bad shot there. Um, okay, five. Still, it is what it is. I think. Yeah, this is an interesting one. I think this green plays really well to a pin here. Really well to a pin here. And just absolutely terribly to a pin here because I can't carry that without hitting a down slope. That's not enough of a feeder slope to leave me anywhere really other than here. Oh no. I'll try. Oh, and get it very fast. Oh, into the bunker we go. Run it through the long grass. I could try. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's okay. As it is, my quality of shot means that it was all irrelevant and did not matter. Oh, we're throwing away those three shots pretty quickly. Um, I guess here? Oh, it leapt way to one side. Oh, there we go. So my read was bad. Well, yeah, my read was bad, and because of that I hold the putt, because my putt was also... <laughs> Okay, prefer this one. I I mean, if you know that these bounce like crazy, I definitely wouldn't be using them as a central hazard. But I like that we've gone front to back as a green here. I think you can inch this pin even further back, to be honest. Like, give it that real edge of the world feel. Maybe there is a pin back there. 
Okay, so the option is, yeah, I guess this is probably possibly dry, nearly drivable. You could leave a chip. Let's see. Maybe not in this wind. Yeah, downwind you could, I think. I think I just need to get a flop to... Oh, I guess there. Oh, no. That's, that's not the shot. Oh, nearly held it. He is in the kitchen. First interruption from small child. Alrighty. Hole seven. Yeah, this is kind of reminiscent of the first where you gave us that little... Uh, good morning, Lily. Yeah. So I think there is that option, but it's just a little too pinched for me to really want to take it. But also, I kind of feel like I get... Uh, I really like the uncluttered green. I think I probably would have planted a little more on the hillside and removed the rough a little less. But I do like the uncluttered green and the fact that it's just ground contours. Like, I think when you simplify, you get you build some really good stuff. Uh, let's hit way over. Oh no, heavy rough it is. But I think I've still got a shot to this pin, so that's okay. Right, come on, Ducker, help me out. So that should feed might be a little low. Okay, you can see it would have worked. But I'd say this is the best hole so far. Oh, not a great chip. No, just. I appreciate the simple green complex and it's not cluttered. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Because it should just trundle on and then it just hits the green and it speeds way up. It's really annoying. I like that we're up against the property boundary here. Mm. We're in the bunker, but I kind of am okay about that because... Oh, it's a three-shotter anyway. <laughs> well, we're just going to hit out of here anyway and just hack it down because yeah, there's some there's some thought to where you have to end up but you kind of just want distance this is some really rolling land I, I don't know if this was the obvious green site within that given that you've got rises and dips yeah okie dokie Oh, not a slow, not a push. And this is one where I would be... <laughs> I think, okay, part of this contest is understanding when you can sculpt and when you can't stop. Can't sculpt. I think that's one where I would be sculpting a bit more. Like, a big sculpt to create a... Like, to knock down a hill would have improved that hole significantly or to put that green on flatter land or somewhere it just feels like because i think you've stuck to the natural slopes a bit too much there okay um i don't think i can clear that and then this green defends really hard against the angle if you don't go there hello lily you play with your tablet in the playroom you go Okay, you go watch Pepper. That's a good idea. Okay, another very rumpled, mounded fairway. Um, I mean, to this pin, it's fine. The, that pin, I feel like you're kind of... Unless you can make that carry, which certain people won't be able to, you're just... You're absolutely dead. And I, I feel like with this, you've... Or, <laughs> We kind of see this quite a bit with pe with some people where you've got the bunkers here and you're already defending against this angle. You don't need to make the green go really hard this way as well. Like You don't need to have it right up against the bunkers and you don't need to have the red slope as well. 
it's just doing a little too much like a bit more restraint would probably help okay let's go to there there's a shot I mean to that pin it's fine we can still get at that righty ah uh, yeah okay so I really like this part of the hole um, I'm not totally sold on driver cutting out and leaving how long on approach would be so even if i hit that punch driver down i've still got 160 in whereas if i hit three wood i've got 180 190 problem is i i am i'm hitting this way every single time and maybe not to this pin i don't get that much of a backstop and yes i'm hitting across a shallower green but i'm taking a wedge from there over six iron from here every time because my variance with a six iron is going to be left or right as well and like, i just feel there's no hazards in play and i can roll down to a flat portion as well i think one thing we kind of see a, a, a if you really defend angles and you really try to force certain shots you can often lead to kind of unintended consequences of just like people going the wrong way. So like these two holes is in these two holes in close proximity are fine. But when you defend so hard against something and you take that shot out really hard, the people are going to look to play driver down here because you've you kind of taken that option away. Whereas if you make that hole just a little simpler, and I think the word simplify would be my key one for you. Uh, everything right it will play better and kind of more as you intend okay uh okay so this one kind of sits on a saddle the bushes below the bunker look a little odd but i like the saddle green site i like that this one's just kind of in a bit more of a clearing it's nice to. I, I appreciate that you've had some par threes that are not just in the ravines, so like this and four. Whilst I didn't, yeah. While I didn't love the, I, this has been a great video for just chipping. Yeah. While there were aspects of the fourth that maybe I thought were a little harsh, at least it, it, like it's given you some variety in terms of length and in terms of where it is position. Yeah. See, this is nicer. So like you, you are at. I, I will say your absolute best holes are where they are more straightforward and they are simplified. And like there is still strategy here. I want to be clinging to the left side because I'm then not going over this bunker. And But then even here, I feel like this slope really hinders this pin. So sometimes it's thinking about it might be a great slope for this pin and this pin. It's terrible for this one if I'm hitting six iron over. Just that message is just simplify, like keep everything simple. Like, what's the one core idea of the hole? And go with that. Because I, th I think it's pretty, really hard to get that pin. Which is a shame because I really like the rest of the hole. And I think, to be fair, that's the one pin on this hole that's going to be tough. I would have really enjoyed a pin on the right hand side, just about here. I think that's got interesting slopes. Pin here, you've got that little sh channel. You, I just don't think you need this big spine, or if you do, it kind of comes into play off the green where it's going to have less of an impact. But yeah, I like that hole. 13. Yeah, I like this one as well. It's, it, And I think you might be more surprised by the ones I like because they may seem slightly more boring. But they're the ones that have a bit of a clearer identity. And like this one, again, yes, it's hold the high side, but then... You've got a simpler green, you've got ground game access, you've got a big slope in front. I, I, This one, you've got a pocket back here, here. I think that pin, I assume there's a pin there, is challenging, but it's a short par five, so we're okay with it. Probably one here as well. But like these slopes work together. And I really like the visuals and where the hills work. And Yeah, big fan of this one. I'll go on. Maybe you don't love the slightly crowned pin, but I can I can forgive that because the rest of the hole's good. Uh, 
Still hitting 600 is good. You see, here's another one like nine. You've, if you've already put the bunkers in front and we've got a really shallow green, it doesn't... I don't... I, I really don't think the green shape needs to do this. Um, but it also kind of runs away from these pins as well. Like, we're defending really hard against things. So I'm... And it's because you're trying to make the strategy of, like, cling to this side as much as possible or hit down here. But we've also just left this fairway wide open. So, like, you're just going to hit over here. Maybe gone a bit far. But, like, I feel like this is the play. Yeah, you're way over those trees. Didn't even need to loft up. And I just feel like I'm playing that with, like, there's no way I get that ball there any other way. And so kind of the reason people are breaking this hole is not because they're looking to do it, it's kind of because you're forcing that, because you've defended so hard against this side. The angle is so severe that you the only way to get the angle is play down a different hole. And the other hole also has zero risk. Anywho, 15... Yeah, I think you've done this. You've yeah, you've done exactly the same thing. So like again, we're defending really hard from this side. Like, I guess the <laughs> I genuinely could see myself playing like driver out to here and hitting wedge across, or like playing down to here. I would be more tempted to do that than I would be to hit over to here where I feel I've just got no shot. Um, so I think the, the core message is just going to be simplify, like make everything, like, we'll, we'll try and drive it just because it's entertaining. Oh yeah, I see the hitbox. That is entertaining. Um, just like when you've done simpler holes, they're good. Just trust that that's enough. And that we don't need to go crazy on defending the angles. You got a fun bounce. Oh, shame. I wanted a birdie off the grass. Yeah, see, this one's great because it's just got a simple idea and it just sits naturally and nicely. And the green shape isn't overly funky. Right. And the green contours are good. Like, there's enough of a little slope to make me think about where I'm landing it, and oh, I'm right between clubs. It's a really good par three. It looks lovely. Somewhere there, maybe. And it and it's also in. It's challenging enough just by the fact that it's got the elevation and it's a wedge shot in a distance I don't quite have. We don't need to do crazy funky things with it. I really like that one. And it sits in a really cool spot because, and you've done the hard work with the routing. Kind of. I hate, I hate to do it again, but this is where I have any sort of angle and I'm probably going to funnel down to a flat portion. Okay, heavy rough, but there's a real flat portion if the wind's with me. But I can't get to that pin any other way. And everything's defending against it. So again, everything pushes me out the other side. And like, even if I do hit the heavy rough, I feel like I've got... <laughs> I do have a better angle from here. Right. Yeah. And the reason is, again, because I can't hit driver because we've choked down to here. And I want to be left. So, like, my landing zone here is so minute. Like, you're trying to get me to hit a five wood or a three wood and just roll up just to the edge where it's clearly also falling off as well. And even then I generate a little bit of an angle to here. Or I just hit driver over here and I get the angle. And all of that comes because we're defending the green just so much. Just simplify. Okay, 18. 
like that we're right down in the creek and I, I appreciate also the kind of rolling mounded fairway. And when you've done that, I like that you haven't gone big on fairway bunkering. Uh, I kind of wanted to roll down. That slope gives me, yeah. But I mean, that slope in the green being flowing this way is all that I really need. But not defending this one, it doesn't need anything more. Uh, it could go anywhere. Yeah, I kind of wanted to hit a fast just to bring it back to the middle of the green, but I like there's a slope that funnels it down. And I, I would still kind of clean up the green shape a little bit, but I think in terms of concept, this one's simpler and therefore it works better. There's some stuff I really like on there. Um, I know, and I know I kind of nitpicked on the more than I normally do, but I know you kind of also want to hear that as well. And you're so close. When you do the simple stuff, it's really good. Um, I just think keep keep simplifying. Um, I really enjoyed like some some of the holes I have. If you've made them all kind of that simpler style, so uh, 16, 18, I want to say, is it 12? That And 13 was a really good stretch. Uh, we do, we love Ducker. We just want, want Ducker to make simple stuff and all will go well, but just don't, you, just simple is everywhere. So like not the green, crazy green shapes. We don't need them. We don't need the crazy defending angles, things like that. Anyway, we're going to be back in just one minute and we're going to play Scottishes, which is on my plot. Um, so yeah, there's loads of that I really enjoyed and please do like hear the messages because you are so close and that's the thing that's, that's the thing that's getting in the way. 